Hey guys, so I'm out here again, and this time there's snow. So, we gotta hurry up. It's 11.30ish, so I have about five hours, maybe less, of sunlight, because it's pretty cloudy. Um, just having my nice, nice little jog, hike, not jog, hike out here. Um, we'll get to going. I need to, uh, I forgot something. I have two shovels that I had to bring because I have to winter proof this place. Uh, there's snow now, so I have to grab shovels and scoop some snow off uh, where I'm gonna sleep. And then I'm gonna build a raised bed. Usually I sleep on the ground but with it being winter, snow now, I have I have to have that that raised bed. So we're gonna do that. And then eventually, if I have enough time, I'm gonna build the second wall that we talked about two weeks ago. And then after that, start maybe on the back wall. And get going so I'm gonna come back to you guys here in a little bit once I get down to the old fort the old a-frame I'm excited so talk to you guys soon all right guys here's the fort kind of did a little bit I had to go get a saw because I forgot mine but here's the bed I made time-lapse the bed I had, a, I had a lot to do I couldn't I couldn't videotape I'm sorry I wish I wish I could. Uh, now we're gonna put this stick on. It's in the ground to here. I'm gonna put up a wall, and then I'm gonna get the tarp going. And that should that should be it for now. Uh, just kind of shoveled the area out. Right there is gonna be where I'm gonna split. I'm gonna put uh, two two Y's here and here down stake that in and that's where I'm gonna split my wood um, but yeah it's nice and comfortable bed it's just bed it's just temporary made uh, if someone wants to use it like I'll get particular into it later like when I have time to do stuff because I'm on I'm on a I'm on a time hack right now guys and I'm, I'm trying I'm trying to videotape as much as possible which I don't know how much I will get done or not but uh, I will try to get it all done in time uh, I'm just gonna keep the firewall up I'm just gonna move I'm gonna keep a stick right down I'm gonna build a stick right here I'm gonna dig some dirt and just put some dirt up against it. Redo it. And then yeah, I'm gonna start on this wall. Wish me luck, guys. That's that side. A little bit of snow got in a little bit, you know, but that's you know, I don't have I don't have nothing out here, so I'm gonna get back to it. I'll videotape me maybe cutting some logs or something. Got the fire up, prepping that right now. Food's right here. Fire's going. This is what it looks like. Back in there, that's the bed. And then I just put the tarp on. So yeah. Got my splitting log here. All that we're gonna pretty much use tonight. Um just kinda making sure the fire stays. Stays going, guys. Yes, I know there's snow on it, man. There's not much I can do with what I'm giving out here. I'm glad I had a little bit. 
of extra stuff over here. So yeah, I'm gonna keep getting this fire, keep putting it on, getting it going, and then I'm gonna move everything inside, my bag, shovel, cast iron, and then, yeah, I'm gonna start cooking. And then when I get back to you, I got one log over here put in. I don't have enough time. I need to, uh, time, time moved really quickly today. So, I'm gonna sit back, keep feeding the fire, and have fun. That good, good stuff. Bacon. 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 Like Corporal Corners says, bacon as AF. Get back to you guys in a little while. Hey guys, uh, I guess there's a big blizzard coming in, so I'm not gonna stay. I was sitting there, my dad and his friend came and seen me, and they were like, "Yeah, a big blizzard coming." So um, I'm I packed up. I put out my fire. We'll go if the blizzard isn't bad tomorrow. I'll go back tomorrow, but maybe Wednesday before I go back out there. I left the tarp. I left. I left everything out there, so it's all it's all out there. None of it's it's all staying. Uh, I I just packed up like my bag, my sleeping bag, all that other crazy cool cat stuff. So I will see you guys shortly. All right, guys. So this is the plan. I'm not gonna stay out there tonight. Because we got a lot of snow. Uh, it stopped snowing finally. It's noon. Um, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to make the sidewall. I'm going to check the tarp because I left the tarp on. And after that, I'm going to um, put a ridge pole kind of thing on the back where the tarp is the back roof and from there I'm going to do that so the snow can kind of fall off I'm gonna drop the front I left the the front deck part of the a-frame where the tarp is to hold like to make a little roof I accidentally uh, left that open and didn't shut it so what We'll see how bad the tarp is with all the snow. I hope it's not bad. And then we're gonna go out. I have to take the side by side, so I'm gonna give you guys like a little trail thing. It's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, to these trees, uh, I was told they're super, super straight uh, dead trees that the beavers cut down. So I'm gonna drive out there and I'm gonna handsaw those. And straighter the better. They're dead. I'm, they'll just go up against my wall and. Once they DDK a couple from a couple years, you know, or a year or however long it will take, we'll just take them off and hope to God find some new ones. So, yeah, I will bring you out there once we get to the side by side and take a little trail down there, and then I'll start hand sawing.
straight sticks. Said it's a pile. Pardon my French, chopping stuff down. I'm gonna, uh, like that one right there where the beaver teeth are, that's gonna be an easy one to saw. So, I might do that. All right, I might do that. I'm gonna have to use my hatchet, because that's all I have. So, I'm gonna hatchet it down. See you guys soon. For any kids watching, when you're using an axe, chainsaw, handsaw, whatever it might might be, make sure you're always you pay attention to where your feet and where your hands are. So you don't want to lose anything. A bad day if you didn't have a limb. Especially on a hiking accident or a out in the woods. So, always watch your surroundings, watch everything because never know what's out there something's always watching you always remember that something is always watching you no matter what it may be it could be an owl it could be a cougar it could be a deer something is always watching you so be aware of your surroundings listen to the trees listen to little cracks little creeks whatever it may be because if something bad happens you need to get out of there as soon as possible make sure you have exit plans make sure you know where you are because it can be a dangerous place out here sometimes. So just know where you're at, know your surroundings. Check a map, the military always says, before you go places, always check out your stuff on a map. Know where your landmarks are. Um, yeah, just know, know where everything is, know your directions. Have a compass with you at all times. Just. Be safe when you're out here and you're doing this stuff because it could be a life changer. So just be safe.
There you go guys, we're about halfway done. I'm gonna clean up those edges later. But yeah, that's what she's looking. Dug out the fire pit a little bit, built a back wall a little bit better. That's what she looks like inside. She actually didn't get too, too wet. So that's good, that's really good. So I'm just gonna keep chugging along getting this back wall put up we should be good guys we should be good so see you there's a lot of a lot of sticks and work to be done I gotta make a dowel right here steak because it's starting to lean over i don't want that so we'll be doing that next yippee so i'm cutting here guys the top part of that up there the old bed that I made looks pretty good so sorry Staley's with me he just runs out here when he sees me it's not my dog Staley come on come on now here give it's uh, the guy that he lets me use his land I uh, drop okay whatever no no, no. Alright. So this, how this is tied right now, this will be the, the crankening part. Make a normal loop like that, and you tie one end around, and it will tighten. But, you have to tie the stopper back here, right here. Right there, like that, because when you tighten it, it needs to stop. I'm pretty sure this is called Canadian Jam Knot, Arbor Knot. It's one of those. I'm still learning which one it's called. So yeah, that's that's how it goes, folks. And then after you're done, you'll tie another knot right here so it doesn't get tighter and you can tie it like this so like if you want i'm pretty sure the arbor knot's the release knot so it's like that and you can save all your cordage last video for today i think we did a really good job i'm gonna do one more thing and then I'm going to call it quits. It's starting to pick up again. It's supposed to be another snowstorm. And I might not stay. I'm not going to stay out here. Um, I'm going to come back. There will be, if it, I don't care, uh, Wednesday going into Thursday or Thursday going into Friday. I will be out here. We will do a... Solo overnight. It will happen before I leave to go back to Kansas. So it will happen. Um, right now, this is what it looks like. We got some wood tucked away over there. We got, those are some lights. Those are solar lights to help me record at nights now. So they're just, they're nothing. They're just going to sit out here inside. Uh, when I came, it, it looked really nice, guys. Um... So, 
uh, it, it, no snow was even inside the, inside of it. Today, this is what we did today. We built this side wall, so we have two sides on the, on the side wall. Now, on both sides. So, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna take the shovels back. I tied everything down to make sure everything was tied down. Snow's picking up. So I tucked stuff away. This is the back. It's all of the back. <sighs> Looks good. I'm gonna get one big stick. I see one right there that's straight enough. It's gonna go onto the back back there so it doesn't, like, the tarp doesn't collapse on the back side. I don't want that to happen. But I'll be back out here again tomorrow. We'll probably start on the, the wall. Back wall. Or the door, one of the two. I mean, the tarp's not. It'll probably be the back wall get half of it done maybe we got some wood uh, I got so many cut down uh, limbs that will turn into firewood they're just drying out the we have so many so there's so much so much dead wood out here like I can I can go half a mile that way that way and go to the swamp area and where the beavers are and just take the side by side out there just to get wood over here because it's just the beavers are cutting it down making beaver dams and there's really really nice straight ones there's some cedar um, let me know in the comments should I make my back wall what kind of thatching should I do cedar limbs should I do just split the big logs in half and then put them together so it makes kind of like two humps and then the flat ends go inside and then stuff like little cedar branches in between so stuff doesn't come in or should I just do a completely different way and like go I mean there's a lot of snow cover in this stuff or find some grass or small sticks like real small long sticks and just thatch it together I did come over here and look at my brother's brother's fort and he did cedar and nothing's really coming in. He did cedar branches. Nothing's really coming in. Uh, we'll go around and kind of look at it from the back side back here. But yeah, look at that. Those are the cedar branches. They're holding up good. Cut down a lot of cedar trees. Well, branches anyways. But that looks... That looks good. He did. He did a heck of a job on that. The roof is outstanding. Like, A plus to Chase if he ever watches this. Man, I'm proud of him. I'm super proud of him and how he did it. Like, there's so much, so much stuff that's just falling. Like, everything's just falling down out here. Like, we are in the swampy area too. Like, we're on the edge of it, so. There's like two swamp areas. There's one on the other side. And then there's another one. Um, shout out to the people that are letting me use their land. Thank you so much. I wouldn't be able to record these or get to do what I love to do out here. Like, <laughs> granted, you guys call me crazy and you're like, dude, it's snowing. Why the heck are you out here? Because I enjoy it. Like, it gets me out gets me to do stuff like it's not that cold out i granted yeah i got a coat i got a sweatshirt i got some good pants you know granted nice sleeping bag nice pad to lay down yes okay yeah i'm comfortable but but thank you guys for letting me do this uh, I asked some other people, so 
we have another piece of land we can go and do something maybe this summer I'll probably tomorrow I'll probably go and talk to them they wanted to show me some stuff so where some things and stuff are at that they don't want me to touch if I bring bullet and me out there so I know traps and stuff so thank you guys I'm not gonna say their names because I don't know if they want it on this so thank you so much I, I really appreciate all you do um, thank you for letting me come out here summertime Whew. summertime is gonna be fun I have maybe a canoe kayak I'm gonna put my bags on it and the the pieces of land they connect to each other kind of you have to go a couple miles before you hit the next piece of land but I'm gonna do like maybe a five-day overnighter in the summertime can't start from one end camp with there do like a tent set up or like use the tarp do kind of like a, a little tree to tree little a-frame thing or I, I don't know maybe a little I, I don't know but there won't be sticks they'll just be all rope and then stay there for a day or two and then come down here and stay the night at the old fort and it's it's gonna be cool uh, it worked out really well and then yeah so I'm excited I have some more people I'm talking to, so hopefully they'll, they'll let me do some stuff out here. But I really appreciate the guys that are already letting me use their stuff. Um, thank you, because this channel won't go nowhere without you guys letting me do do stuff like this. And my Facebook page, I have roughly 200 followers. So please let your friends, everybody know. Facebook, I'm not really big on Facebook right now, or not Facebook, uh, YouTube, so please, please w just watch my videos. You don't have to watch them, you can just run them through, just let Facebook know, or not Facebook, uh, YouTube, sorry, know that uh, I'm out there, and I am doing stuff that people like to watch, so please, please do it. I know I haven't... I need to get a tripod for my, my phone. I record everything off my phone, so I don't have a lot of stuff. But please go watch them. Uh, let me know what I'm doing wrong or n not wrong, but different. You want me to do different? I'll try to incorporate that. Uh, until I can get a tripod and stuff, my videos ain't going to be that good, and I'm sorry. Sorry for that. I wish I wish I could do it do it more, but I I only have so much money and I'm not sponsored by no one. So like it's this is all on me. Like I'm buying everything. So they might be a little crappy at the time. The videos, so yeah. Next one's going to be a big I I'll try to get a tripod or make a tripod. I don't know. I, maybe I'll make a wood tripod. But I want to start tripoding stuff so you guys can actually see what what I'm doing. But it's pretty pretty late in the afternoon. It's well, it's not late. It's three o'clock. So sun will be going down in about two three hours. So that's pretty good. We did a lot today. We got one more branch that I'm going to go cut down quick that I see over there. And I'm going to take some pictures of the place. I'm going to put them on my Facebook. So go to my Facebook. It's at Brandon, Brandon's Wilderness Adventures, all lowercase, all together. That's my Facebook. And then just Brandon Klein on YouTube. Just look that up. You'll see my, my logo. My logo is like a... Uh, a deer with the antlers turn into like mountains with trees as the the antler part so please look at that that's my logo it's like brown and like a goldish yellow so go watch that and yeah thank you thank you guys for staying with me in the beginning it's it's been a <laughs> i know i haven't posted many videos and everything's just Caddy wampus right now because I I don't have anything. 
I'm just, I'm going off a of scratch. I'm, I'm still learning how to make fires. Yesterday it took me like, not eight times, but it took me three times. And I was using stuff that had snow in it, so I'm pretty proud of myself. I had a little fire disc that I used, and I shaved some of that fire disc and a little bit of, like, fire sticks. Those help out so much. And uh, dry bark. But I'm drying some wood out now. Um, so hopefully I can get it dried out faster. I don't know how many times I'm going to scoop this place, but there's a lot of snow. Um, but yeah, I'm going to head out of here. I'm going to cut one more twig down to put in the back of the tarp so it like kind of makes like a little roof shape so the snow just goes right to the bottom. And then I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go and see my brother, go to the gym. And yeah, I will post more videos up. This will be the end <laughs> of this session of videos uh, for like the two days I did this I'll do another one I'll have a couple more videos more pictures helping with uh, the back wall and then the, the the tricky one the door the door is going to take forever um, I have to carve stuff I have to make it just right so this door opens up the way I want it. And heck, there might not even be anything in the middle. It might just be the door that opens up. So I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. Uh, unfortunately, if I have to, I have to. If I have to bring a drill out here, I have to bring a drill to, to drill out the holes the way I want them. I'm not going to try to... Or if there's a hand drill I can get from the shop or something just to borrow I'll do that but I might have to bring a drill so I'm sorry about that guys I wish I could do that by hand uh, it took me like a while to cut those logs so you guys have a great weekend and see you in the next video